Hey everyone, I'm back doing the snake walking stick, the Aspen. Um, it's going pretty good, I, I have to say. Uh, it, uh, it It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but uh, it's still um, carving something that, you know, I'm, I'm not real sure of. But anyway, it... Uh, uh, once I get the initial setup or um, figure carved out of it, I'm going to do some with the uh, with the Dremel. I think um, leveling it out, uh, smoothing it out, going deeper. Um, if I can go, do it with the the Dremel, I've got that beautiful new Dremel sitting here. Um, but I don't want to. I tried some things with it and it just didn't seem like I felt comfortable with it. But once I carved the the initial snake out of it, which I, you'll you'll see in a little bit, um, I, I think I'll be able to go in and, and uh, help clean it up a little bit, and maybe make it a little deeper, smooth it out with with some of the Dremel tools. Uh, another thing I wanted to to say is the Hawthorne walking stick I, I, it just it just wasn't my cup of tea I just did not like it for some reason too small too light um, I, I suppose for a child's walking stick it might have been okay but I I, I cut it down I'm going to use it as a cane that's going to be part of a cane. So uh, I'm hoping, you know, and this is the other end of it. It's real thin. I don't know what in the world I could do with it, but I'm going to try. But this one here is going to be made into a cane. Um, and hopefully, it, it, uh, I think that will make it look real nice. And it'll be pretty light, but it's very, very strong. So anyway, I just thought I'd let you know that the Hawthorne carving or uh, walking stick is not anymore. Okay, now let me uh, get the camera around here, and then uh, I'll get back to you, and, and we'll see what we can do with with some carving of the snake again. Okay, as you can see, I'm carving both sides of the the body of the snake. Uh, I haven't got to the the head part yet. I haven't got up here yet. So I'm making, uh, I'm just cutting it out, carving it out, the body. I'm trying to stay further away. Um, and I really don't care if it's stair-stepped going down. Uh, you know, if I can make a cut this way and then cut this way and another stop cut this way. I, I really don't care because everything's going to be rounded anyway and smoothed out. So that's uh, my thing. And so... Let me let me get at it a little bit more here and and uh, see what we can do. Like I said, this aspen this aspen is just wonderful for carving. Okay, I started going around the the rattle of the rattlesnake here. Uh, I'm still not going in and making all the little bumps where the different rattlers are rattles are. I'm still leaving it round until I get it down to the right depth, and then I will do the definition of all everything. But I just want to get it so it's carved out right now. Let's 
see what I can do with the, the head here. Anyway, I guess I got it pretty much. Carved out to where everything is seen anyway. So, well, I'm gonna shut the camera off and take a look and see what else I can do here. Well, today I decided to use a different camera. Um, I'm going to use my Dremel with a flex shaft with a coarse drum on it for sanding. Um, I tried it a little bit and it seems to really work out well with uh, grinding it down, sanding it down, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's, uh, I want to be able to take it down deep and this is seems like it's the fastest way so we're gonna give her a try anyway so I'm um, gonna get the camera set up so you can see what I'm doing like I said I'm using a different camera today see how that goes too um, I'm, I'm just trying all kinds of new things to to help me get along here and uh, it's gonna be a very dusty dirty I'm outside it's it's a gloomy cool day um, actually it's uh, it's actually too cool actually to sit outside but with this Aspen it is so dirty and fine that uh, I, I can't do it in my shop because it would just hang on everything and my shop's so small um, this, this <laughs> when it gets warmer and stays warmer um, I'm going to have to get in there with the air hose, the air compressor, and blow it all out the door. So, uh, it's also, we're going to get down in into the freezing zone. We're going to be 29 degrees here in, in a couple nights. So, strange, strange. Anyway, uh, let me get the camera set up, and we'll start rolling. Well, here we go. About the only thing we really have to fight is the, of course, the road noise again. But, um... We'll see how everything's going to go here. Well, I forgot my dust mask, so I had to go get that on. Okay, I switched to a, a finer grain, and uh, I've already done the one side, smoothed it out a little bit more. So now I'm going to do the other side of the snake.
Okay, I got a small sanding drum on it now. Let's see how that one works. Okay, now that I'm, I'm thinking it's, it's coming out pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm hoping it's coming out pretty good. Get everything off here. Uh, get my regular glasses here. It, um, It's going to take some more um, TLC, but I, I believe that I've, I'm, I'm doing okay, pretty good. So I'm not going to run the camera on the rest of it. I'm going to turn it over and do this side of it now. And. Uh, smooth that out then I probably will try to round it a little bit just to see how I'm going so we'll get back to you in a bit okay I'm gonna do a little bit more sanding I got the sanding cones um, and they're really really great for getting in the edges and stuff down in here where I'm trying to round the, the snake off.
these little cones are wonderful and I uh, I got them from Tree Line USA again like I say no no promotion or anything just fact that that's where I got them that's where I get a lot of my stuff anyway for this but, uh, I think you can see that it's coming out pretty good. Of course, I got quite a bit of work left to do on it. I got to smooth some of the bumps out and stuff in here. Especially hit that knot, well, yeah, boom, boom, boom. So, but uh, it uh, it really works. <laughs> and I'm real happy with it. And. Uh, thing is, is using the Dremels is really a, a, a great thing because it really cuts down on a lot of hand and arm work for an old man like me. But I, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to come out quite well. There's going to be a lot of sanding to do on it to make it nice and smooth and but uh, I think it's going to be well well worth it I just really I'm kind of excited about this snake now I'm just hoping that I can get the head and get around that and I don't know if I'm going to film that because I need to put this in so many different positions that I don't think I could even get it on film because I'm not that you know wise with it yet so but we'll have to see uh, I'm gonna stop the cameras right now and, and uh, thank you all for watching and, and putting up with me and, and uh, hopefully we can all get better as we go Thank you again. Bye-bye.